Hi everyone, MJ here with another SketchUp plugin for you. In today's video, I'll show you how to use the Extrusion Tools plugin. As usual, if you don't know how to install plugins, check out the description for links to that video tutorial. So after you've installed the plugin, you will get this nice little toolbar right here. Let's go over each tool as quick as we can. First one, extrude edges by rails. Activate the tool and select four curve edges. You need to select the curves in this exact order. Select the first one, then the one connected to it, then the one opposite the second one, and finally the last one remaining. If you miss the order, you won't get the desired result. You can choose if you want to reverse the first rail direction, reverse faces, create quads instead of triangles, and erase original curves. You need to remember that this tool works only with four connected curves, so this disconnected loop or these five curves won't work. The edges need to be curves, not simple lines, so this too won't work, but it could work if you split this line like this, and use a plugin like Weld, link in the description, to make this line a curve, or polyline as some would say. The good thing is that this tool will work regardless of the number of segments of each curve, so two segment line curve is just fine, as you can see. Second tool, extrude edges by rails to lattice. It's practically the same as the first tool, but instead of geometry, you create a lattice, or let's better call it wireframe. And you can choose whether you want a quad wireframe, choose profile rails, or just lines in green axis direction, choose profiles, or red axis direction, choose rails. Or even diagonal, choose diagonal. The cool thing about profile rails direction is that it asks you whether you want the simple lines like this one here or 3D. And the 3D option creates, well, 3D geometry with all these options like width and depth of the frames and even paint inset and thickness as well as materials. Check out the result. For the 3D option to work, you need to have flat quad geometry. So the opposite curves, this one and this one, and this one and this one, need to be identical curves. Otherwise, you would get triangles and not quads. Something like this here. Third tool, extrude edges by loft. This one is real simple. Just select the curves in whichever order you want to create the surface between them. Then press enter or double click to confirm. You'll be asked to input the number of segments per section you want, whether you want to reverse the faces, would you like to create quads instead of triangles, and whether you would like to erase the original curves. That's it. Fourth tool, extrude edges by edges. You need to select two curves, but this time it's important to have the curves grouped and equally important to select them before activating the tool otherwise it won't work. And what it does, it extrudes the first curve using the other curve as directional vector to create geometry. You'll get the same or similar prompts as the other tool, so I won't mention this anymore. This one is a little buggy, as you can see, it moves geometry away from the curves, but the extrusion is correct. You'll just need to reposition it. Anyway, let's move on to the next one. Extrude edges by vector. With this one, you select the curve you want to extrude, activate the tool, and then click and drag in the direction you want your extrusion to go. You can drag over an existing line or just snapping to one of the world axes. Next tool, extrude edges by vector to object. With this one, you extrude selected shapes to a target surface. So select the curve or even multiple curves, activate the tool and just click and drag, just like the last tool. But this one though, will find the intersection points with existing geometry and stop the extrusion at that point, achieving this result you're seeing right here. Next tool, extrude edges by lathe. This one is practically 
revolving a curve around an axis. So you just select the curve, activate the tool, and then set the axis by choosing two points, which in this case is this one here and any other one on the Z axis. You can choose if you want a full revolve or just a part of the full circle by typing the angle here. You can also choose the number of segments by typing the number and the letter S. Press enter to confirm and double click to generate the geometry. You'll get the usual prompts, but that is essentially it. Next one, extrude edges by face. This one is like the follow me tool. It extrudes a face along a path. You just activate the tool, select the start face, the path and the end face, and that is it. But, but there is a big but here because unfortunately in the newer versions of SketchUp, this tool no longer works. You see this plugin hasn't been updated since 2018 and in all this time I haven't been able to make this tool work properly. I use a different plugin though called Curviloft that does exactly what this tool was supposed to do so if you're interested in Curviloft check out the link in the description. But let's move on. Extrude edges by rails by face. So this is just a complicated way to say creating profiles or rails from a face and four curve contours. Okay, now I realize that doesn't sound any less complicated, so let me just show you. First you select the face, then activate the tool and then select the four connected curves in the same order you would when using the first tool of this plugin. Then you can choose whether you want horizontal, choose profiles, vertical, choose rails or both. Let's choose profiles for this example. See the result. And finally, the last tool, extrude edges by offset. This is practically an offset tool that creates a face between the original curve and the offset. Just select the curve, a polyline in this case, activate the tool and input the offset value. Setting a negative value would offset the curve in the other direction, obviously. So that's the last thing we had to go over guys, I just wanted to make this as short as possible by still going over the most important uses of this cool plugin. I want to thank you all for watching and feel free to check out my Patreon page, link in the description where amongst other things you can get access to a download section of all my models from all my old videos and all the videos to come. The lowest membership is just $1 per month and it would help me a lot to keep making these videos for you guys. Thank you so much for supporting this channel and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. As always, until next time.